Hey everybody, this is TapTap. I made the uh, big old Abyssrium guide you might have used. And today, I'm going to show you how to get some candies for this Halloween event that we've got here. Uh, some people have asked me, how the heck did you afford all of these? How'd you get all these candies? And uh, early on, I thought this event was pretty impossible too. It seemed like the free candies from the 50, you know, watching the videos was the best way. Uh, not at all. It's actually almost worthless. If you do this right, so um, there's a few things you need to do. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to have only three starfish out, or excuse me, we only want three seahorses out. Um, in a pinch, you can just use three of the same of any fish up here, but uh, the important thing is we only want three fish, and we want them in the minimum movement area that we can get them. And it just so happens that, sar that seahorses move the least. Starfish would move even less, but they are not in this game. Um, so it might take a little bit to go through here and put everything away, but trust me, it does make things a lot faster. It doesn't matter too much if you leave a few other fish in. I think I have too many seahorses out. So, yeah, I have one fish out and I don't know what it is. Uh, probably a tang, because, oh, there we go. And just put all those away, just only get three fish out if you can. And what we're going to do is, you might have forgotten this is even a thing, but it turns out the way candies work is they're multiplied by vitality multipliers, even though it starts off at one. So Song of the Moon and Spirit of Life both multiply. So what we're going to do is, first, we want to make sure our skills are fully recharged, including the recharge skill. So we want Song of the Moon ready. I just completed a quest, apparently. Um, we want both Song of the Moon and Recharge skill ready. And what we're going to do is buy Spirit of Life, which doubles vitality production 15 minutes. It costs 100 gems to do this. The screen goes all orange here. We activate Song of Life, and now, instead of one candy, we're getting 30, because I have level... 11 on Song of Life. Um, at the minimum level, you only get about, you only get 10 candies from this. Uh, that's still significantly more than what we'll get otherwise. And what I do here is just kind of, you can't see where I'm tapping exactly, but I just tap with four fingers in the general vicinity of the uh, seahorses, which they only really... See, so yeah, recording on your phone, uh, actually pretty annoying. I just accidentally stopped the video while mash tapping. Uh, what you want to do is tap here, around the middle where the pumpkins are, and the coral, because that's where the seahorses kind of wander around. You can manually tap specifically on them, but seahorse, the, the beauty of the seahorses is that they wander all in the same narrow area. That's why we picked only three seahorses. And the reason we picked three is because generally only two fish will offer the uh, candy at a time. Sometimes there's three, and more importantly, sometimes... Um, a photo quest will pop up, and that way you can still get two candies even with the photo quest up. Um, my cat is bumping my phone, making this even more difficult. It's, this game is, you know, if you want hard mode, get a cat. Hello, Pokey, yes. So, basically, all you do here is you just mash these taps. I'm not going to show the full situation, because it takes about ten minutes, because, you know, you want to tap through two full casts of, um... Song of the Moon. So this will take you a little over 10 minutes of mash tapping. Uh, really not that bad. I, um, oh, I neglected to remove all of my candies before doing this, but uh, at the end of the video I'll tell you exactly how many candies I got with this method. And, uh, in one session, rather. Uh, this is, if you can't or don't want to spend the gems on the double vitality thing, it, um, you know, it's really only half as fast, you just have to do twice as many sessions, it's really not too bad, but, um, if you're impatient, you know, the game, since the game has these weekly quests now, it's a lot easier to get gems if you don't want to pay, so 100 gems now and again to get a ton of candies really isn't too bad. Like, we're getting, we're getting 30 per tap here, that means the cheapest fish is only 10 taps, which really isn't too bad. An annoyance with the seahorses is that they kind of wander into the geometry, the level geometry. And you can't see when they have the candy, but that's why you just kind of... I really just recommend mash tapping. This is also a really good way to get normal hearts, you know, vitality. So, um... 
It's basically the same way you get tons of vitality normally if you're not uh, a very, you know, active mash tapper like myself. I honestly usually don't even bother tapping for this, but I do for the candy. But uh, I've found that really... You can get all of the fish pretty easily, the Halloween fish, if you use this method. I initially thought it was going to be, like, freaking impossible, even as the person who made the big old guide on this game. It seemed impossible, but, uh, this really makes it work pretty well. I have al I almost have five of every Halloween fish. That was my goal. I find with this method, I get Halloween fish even faster. Significantly faster than I get the normal fish. And yeah, if we get a photo quest, I'll usually just solve that real quick. Uh, the Another way to do this is using jellyfish, but um, since the recent update, jellyfish no longer float around in, its, in place like they used to. They used to be the ideal way before, before this update ever hit, rather. So let's see how much... I guess we're almost out here, so I guess I'll just... I think we've gotten about a thousand, at least. I think we've gotten over a thousand this this round. Um, yeah, once Song of the Moon runs out, we're gonna watch the ad, and, uh, well, I'm gonna watch the ad, and then we'll do Song of the Moon again, and, uh, yeah. So, I'll be back in a second here, and I'll tell you exactly how many candies I got with this method of just one run through. And, uh, hopefully you understand how to do this yourself. So I ran the numbers, and we got 5,402 candies out of that. Um, might be a little off, because we should have gotten that in even numbers of uh, 30, but, uh, you know. So hopefully that makes that uh, bone whale feel a little bit less distant. We could buy two and more than half of a third bone whale just from that alone. Or we could buy almost enough, we could buy about 20 ghost fish, which almost is about half of what you need to unlock the uh, ghost ray. See, so yeah, it's uh, a lot easier than it might seem, and you don't really need to spend the gems if you, uh, you know, it's a matter of time, like it always is in these idle games. Yeah, you, know, you could- <laughs> I'm sorry, my cat just- attacked my cord. Anyway, hopefully that makes the uh, candies a lot less intimidating for you. Unfortunately, I do not know when. I don't think anyone knows when the Abyssrium Halloween update ends. So, I'm thinking it will must be at least a week from Halloween. Um, I would hope at least two. Uh, but if you're, you know, really hoping to get those in, I would, uh, you know, try to get whatever ghost or skeleton fish you want as fast as you can. Um, Abyssrium's never really done an uh, event like this before, so I don't really know what to expect. But, uh, in case you're watching this in 2017 or later or something, I'll definitely note in my guide and on this video uh, when you can expect the Halloween event to end based on the prior year. I wish they'd be a little more transparent about these things. But yeah, that... That is pretty much how you want to get candies in, in this Halloween event. Um, definitely try to save some gems for Song of the Moon as well. Usually delicious food is better gem per gem uh, for vitality, but Song of the Moon is really, really important for this. So yeah, hopefully you uh, found that helpful. If you did, why don't you give a little like or subscribe if you want to see more interesting games like this. Do you want to have the last word, Parker? He just wants pets. Yes, you do.